Hi, Brock here from Procore Power Equipment. Today we're going to be looking at this Toro Time Cutter Model 75734. This is a small zero turn mower with a large engine. It's kind of a cool mower. We're going to walk around it and I'm going to show you some things I like, some things I dislike about it. I want to point out a few things off the bat. I said earlier, V-twin engine, big engine, is a 22 horsepower, so plenty of horsepower for a little 34 inch deck. Uh, this mower also comes with a three year warranty. So that covers pretty much any of your uh, uh, parts, pieces on this thing. A few thing things they don't cover, belts, tires, and battery, they don't co cover for that three years. Those are wear items, but pretty much anything else is gonna be covered for that three years. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna walk around it. I'm gonna show you a few things that this mower has to offer and you can uh, be the judge whether this is a good mower for you or not. All right, first up, we have the engine controls. So you have your throttle, choke, and your PTO switch. Um, this is all located conveniently, like one spot. Everything is right here. I like this, it's nice, it's clean. It uh, keeps it all in one place for you. Down here, another thing I really like about this mower, this time cutter, and this is the only time cutter uh, that offers a rubber discharge chute. So you can see this is a rubber chute. It'll bend, and if you do hit against a tree or against something, it's gonna, it's gonna bend out of the way for you. All the other Toro time cutters have plastic chutes that can crack. This is rubber, I really like it. When you're sitting on the mower, it's pretty comfortable. You have some lag room here, which is nice. This seat does adjust forward and back. You have to loosen up some bolts to do that. But if you are a shorter person, you maybe wanna slide it forward. Um, but you do have some adjustment to that, which is great. Uh, handles, they feel good here. Nice spot, but you can also adjust these forward or back by loosening these bolts up on the side. Uh, you loosen both of these and then that'll fold either forward or back depending on how you like that. There are no armrests on this mower. That would be probably first up. The first thing I would say could use improvement. I like armrest. It kind of feels a little, a little awkward back here with my, with my arms. They don't have anywhere to set. I would like to see that in the future. Down here, you have your cutting height adjustment right here, down to an inch and a half, up to four and a half. This is a light deck, it's easy to pull up and down. You can set it wherever you want. We'd be around three, three inches here in Ohio. Um, but yeah, very easy to move up, that up and down. This is the smart speed control system by Toro. They put this on all of the time cutter models now. It lets you set the max speed by just adjusting this. Uh, you have slow, medium, and high. Most times you're gonna be in high, um, almost always actually. The one thing I find kind of handy is if you're up in the slow speed here, if you're a new user, new to the zero turn world, this slows the mower down a lot. It gives you a little bit more control with your handles here. It's not going to get up to speed very fast. Uh, it's great to learn how to drive a zero turn. Otherwise, it's probably gonna be down in the fastest speed there all the time. Another thing that I would like to see a little different is these tires are tiny, and I understand why they did this. Um, they're very narrow tire because of the deck, obviously. You can't stick out past the mowing deck side. Ideally, you'd have a little bit of trimming edge to the deck, which you don't on this mower because it's so small, uh, but you can't have a wider wheel than your deck or else you're running over the grass. I don't like how skinny they are, but I see why they are that way. The engine is a Kohler 7000 series, 22 horsepower V-twin. I don't know why they put this big of an engine on this small of a deck, but it's got more horsepower than you could ever possibly need with that deck. Um, really on like a 30 inch push mower, Time Master that they make, they have less than 10 horsepower. This is only four inches larger than that. And they've got 22. Um, I know you are riding on it, it's a little more weight, but it's still way overkill. I do like that though. It's nice to have plenty of power. If you want to do overgrown, tall, thick uh, grass or weeds, it's going to do that extremely well. Air filter, if you're into maintaining your mower, pop this cover off. The air filter comes right out of here. You have a little pre-filter here, the green. Uh, take that out, clean it, wash it. Oil drain, you have a flexible hose here. You can see that it drops out the back. Very easy to do your own oil change now. You're not spilling, spilling out oil onto the frame. Seat flips up. I really do like this, this on all the time cutters. They make the seat to flip up. You can get to your battery really easily. You can get in here to blow it out to keep it clean. That's very important for the uh, life of well, really everything, but just keep everything blown out and clean. It, it, it super works super well to flip that seat up. Right here, these are your adjustments on the seat I showed you earlier. You can slide, you have to loosen these two 
and then these two down here, so a total of four. This will slide, slide the seat forward and back by just loosening those. Toro's simple gas gauge here. I actually really like this. There's little to nothing that can fail with this one. It's a sight gauge. There's no uh, float in the tank, nothing like that. If you can see gas in there, you know you have it. If you can't, then there's no gas in there. It's simple, it works really well. 34 inch iron forged deck. This deck is small. 34 inches is not a wide cut. If you have a small lawn, it works extremely well for that. Uh, getting to a backyard gate works, works well for that as well. This is a fabricated deck. So it's a welded deck. It has the reinforced ridge along the bottom all the way across the cutting deck. This is a very sturdy deck. It's made to take some abuse and use uh, for sure. Uh, great for bumpier backyard or more, more of a rough cut area that you're doing. Um, it's going to hold up really well to that. It has a washout port option here. You have a garden hose attachment that comes with the mower. It pops right on here. You can uh, hook your garden hose up and then wash the underside of that deck out as well. This mower has the quick release covers from the top pulley of the mowing deck. I like that too. I'm a fan of clean, keeping your mower deck clean under there. These come off really well. Um, you can take an air hose, water hose, and clean that all up. They also snap back into place really well just like that. This mower has a little little bit of storage back here, not a lot, but you can throw some stuff in there. It's kind of nice. You have a cup holder over on the left hand side. Uh, not super deep, but it, it is there. And then in the front, you have a nice little storage uh, area here. You can get your uh, work gloves in there. Nice, nice for some small stuff in the yard. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in this mower or another tour mower, please give us a call. We are happy to help you all in any way that we can. Have a great day.